Welcome to Drawing Isometric Ellipses. With isometric drawings, as I've completed this one in the past, um, isometric drawings are representing three-dimensional forms using the isometric or paraline drawing system. So verticals remain vertical. Anything that recedes out to the left, which is potentially depicting the depth, that recedes at 150 degrees. Anything going out to the right, that recedes at 30 degrees. Uh, so that's how we can get the three dimensional, the three dimensions. And it's obviously going to pick the, the top view quite well. What I'm going to do here is be drawing isometric ellipses. This is what we've completed in the past. I've just added, obviously, this little ellipse in the middle that will indicate on our drawing. I'll stick that there. When you're using isometric drawings, um, they will be the ellipses will be indicated via if it's a full circle, it will tend to be included by the back to front Q symbol, which is a diameter, and it will state say 40 uh, mil. Um, and if it's just an arc, it will tend to be just a, an R, being the radius equals 20. We can see this ellipse aligns with this line here, so I'll include that on my drawing. Once again, I'll be using the T square, which will be on the side here. And I'll be using the set square and I'll just draw those. Might even work out the midpoint, so 30 is going to be the midpoint of that. And so we're going to draw the ellipse in here. Uh, we know it's 40 diameter. And so draw the square in this case. So I'll go at 20, locate it there and there, and I'll go up 40. So that's where the ellipse needs to be included within that area. What we now do is work at the other centre point. Located there is the halfway point of it. As I can find, we're just going corner to corner. Now, if I just draw a line from there to there and there to there, it's just going to make a diamond shape, a rectangle prism. So, what I need to do is the ellipse will cross over out in this direction, three quarters of the way along. Same thing here, same thing there. So it's gonna roughly go there. If I work out halfway here, it's gonna be located roughly there. You can always draw a line from this location and halfway down this line as well. So wherever that's gonna go there. And so that's where the ellipse needs to rotate around. It will be quite open here. And then you'll find here you'll have to arc around a lot more. Okay, we'll do it um, by hand, so freehand. Otherwise you can always use these ellipse templates. Quite handy. Um, you can also determine these areas and use uh, these flexi curves so you just locate at the first point and then rotate it around to the second and third points that you need. So just going over what I've done, it's worked out where the location of the um, ellipse needs to be and then done the diagonals to work out where the center point is and also located the center points on all um, the length and the width. I've then worked out where it needs to cross over uh, from these points by going three quarters of the way of the, the length. You should then be able to go through and draw it. So that will be open. This will be exactly the same. This one here will arc around a lot more and it has to hit that checkpoint. And it's all nice and smooth, no edges, and that's how we get a nice looking ellipse. <laughs> 